The second edition of the book Coral Reefs of Trinidad and Tobago, written by Dr. Anjani Ganes, highlights the beauty of marine ecosystems. The first edition, having been written by the late Richard Ledu, parallels the need for conservation of this natural beauty. A plea continued in this second book. This week's Keeping It Green looks at and high, the highlights rather of the book. Brought to you by Flow. We keep your rhythm flowing at discoverflow.co. Climate change impacts the health and survival of coral reefs, leading to coral bleaching, weakened reef structures, and physical damage. Research in marine life has revealed that this, along with man-made implications, continue to impact the livelihood of coral reefs. Director at the Institute of Marine Affairs, Dr. Ava Maxim, says, although technological advancement has led to better records of the progression of coral reefs, much more needs to be done with conservation. As such, we also need to evolve in terms of our conservation efforts with coral reef. There's a lot now that threatens our coral reef and in turn threatens the sanctuary of many of our marine animals as well as threatens our livelihoods and, and industries that depend on our coral reef. Dr. Anjani Ganes' passion for coral reefs began at a young age. This inspired a lifelong commitment to championing the protection and conservation of coral reefs. My grandfather was an avid fisherman and he used to fish out in the Bocas. And, you know, we also, he used to take us out snorkeling. So we would look at the coral communities around Scotland Bay. He would tow me behind him in the boogie board. You know, I had a mask and then I think that was it. It was a portal to a new world. Mm. And so fast forward how many decades later, I studied coral reefs, you know, in the Caribbean, but also in other regions around the world. And that brought me right back around to coming back home to Trinidad and Tobago and working with the Institute of Marine Affairs. Trinidad has coral communities along its east and north coasts and northwestern peninsula. Coral reefs in Tobago are widely known for their beauty and vibrant marine life, a location ideal for divers and snorkelers as well as tourists. A key takeaway from the book, as stated by Dr. Ganes, is the need for government agencies and those involved in marine life to take more action to drive conservation efforts. Coral reefs of Trinidad and Tobago have a long history of research and knowledge. While there's much to explore, we have everything we need to know to effectively manage our coral reefs and protect the marine area. The vicious cycle, I'm sorry to say, of inaction, ignoring conservation, perpetuates at all levels with excuses such as lack of funds, knowledge, tools, resources. The list goes on. It is something that we, me and other government agencies, we love to bicker about. However, the only thing lacking and what we need is the willpower and the motivation to create behavioral change. The book, Coral Reefs of Trinidad and Tobago, delves into the biology, biodiversity and ecological significance of reef building corals across Trinidad and Tobago. With a combination of scientific precision with non-technical jargon, it highlights the environmental, economic and societal importance of marine ecosystems. I am Ayana Carter, keeping it green for TTT News. Our world is filled with rhythm. Rhythm that's unapologetic, infectious, timeless. Rhythm is commitment in action. It's how we show up for each other with unrelenting support that goes the distance. Rhythm lives in the tiny beats of our most intimate moments and the seismic roars of our biggest achievements. Rhythm is resilience in motion. So even when things go out of sync, we do what it takes to bring the rhythm back. At Flow, we understand your rhythm because we live it.
that's why we're dedicated to building a network as resilient as you, with a team of familiar faces working every day to keep you on beat. You're at the heart of everything we do, and our commitment is to keep your rhythm flowing, no matter what.